Hello and welcome to the show. Now, I've quite enjoyed playing around on Ride 2 and when I was doing videos on that, a lot of people told me to check out Taurus Trophy. This is a relatively old, about 10 years old bike racing game made by the same people that made Gran Turismo, which is why the menus and so on UI will all feel very, very familiar. However, this is, of course, all about bikes. Now, I have, before going to record this, uh, quickly gone and done the first of the license tests, just so we can go and get a few more bikes and do a few more events, etc. From what I can figure out, you unlock bikes in a rather different way in this. Rather than there be a currency-based system, you go and find a bike that you want to unlock. We shall go and find a Yamaha at some point. I should probably point out at the start, that I normally do when it anything with bikes, I, I know very little or when it comes to motorbikes. I just about know the manufacturer names, but uh, anything more than that, and I'm not really, not really sure about them. Uh, so, ooh, I I'm liking the logo. I don't really know much about the bike, but I like the logo for the name there. That's quite cool. Um, yeah, all of these bikes here that we can see with the N next to them, that means they're the novice class bikes. I say novice class bike. That looks pretty... That looks pretty serious business. On that last, last thing I saw, that said like 120 horsepower. That's a lot. Uh, 124 horsepower. That's a lot on a, on a, on a very, very light bike. Um, that thing looks interesting to say the least 72 kilos that's a very very light it might only have 43 horsepower but okay maybe we should go try and unlock this i don't really know what it's going to ask me to do and um, so we're going to go for <gasps> it's even got foul race colors yes okay pass your opponent within a set number of laps once you're in the lead stay ahead of the opponent for 10 seconds or cross the finish line first to win the race uh, we can't knock them off either. God damn it. We can't, <laughs> we can't have that sneaky baseball bat as we go past them. Just sort of knock them. Or maybe, maybe don't even need to hit them properly. Just a little prod should, uh, <laughs> should do the trick. I think I'm thinking of Road Rash for, for that one. So we are, yeah, okay, we're racing against each other. And this is, you know, a oh, there is a... Uh, there is a lot of noise that I wasn't quite prepared for from that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get that around the first corner. I don't know if I end up on the grass, if that is an instant fail, like ooh, like it is in the license test that I did. I don't think so, seeing as I've been all over the place. Oh, this this is a bit different to the bikes that I've driven so far in the in the license test. <laughs> Good God, it's um quite quite a bit bit more responsive. Ooh, oh no, we're on the sh where are we going here? Is this the bike layout of Sakuba? Do they have a different layout? I've never driven this. I've driven Sakuba so many times in so many games, and I've never driven that layout. That must be a bike thing. I, again, I would I would assume. Uh, oh, God. Get turned. Come on. Come on, bike. Oh, I've butchered that corner. We were doing so well. We were doing so well initially, but now it has all gone a little bit wrong, and I need to... I thought I had changed my stuff to run the bikes with manual. Apparently, I have not. Uh, we are going to... God. Uh, try and get it turned into the final corner and do a really piss-poor job of that. We started off really well, and then it's all gone downhill from there. I don't quite know what the minus four is telling me. Minus four seconds? Maybe? I don't, I don't quite know. Uh, oh no, I've gone on the throttle way too soon there. So, <laughs> yeah, my, my knowledge of bike riding is on a, a, on a minimum, uh, really, I'll be honest here. And this game is actually pretty damn detailed. As you would imagine, from the makers of Gran Turismo, the physics are pretty, uh, pretty decent. Now, I say they, they feel pretty decent. I don't know what's accurate for a bike particularly. I mean, I liked riding on uh, on Ride 2. I liked racing on there, actually. Took a little bit getting used to. Had a lot of fun on it. But I don't know how accurate it is. A lot of people saying it's quite arcadey. Um, yeah, it was good enough fun to to race on. But I don't know. I don't know about the realism. And again, you know, the same goes for this. I don't really know if this is realistic to a bike. Uh, you shouldn't, I believe, be able to really break and, and turn in. And at the moment, I am being able to get away with that. Now, I'm not sure if there is, again, assists that are left sneakily on. Uh, Gran Turismo doesn't like you turning off all the assists on all of the cars. It's quite... F certainly, the, the newer ones, even the older ones, were quite funny about you having all assists turned off. We might have to go have a look through that. 
through the menus again. We're not going to catch him. We're going to have another retry. Because uh, <laughs> we, we lost too much time, I think, in that faffing around at the opening. The opening part. So, oh no. We've got to really make sure we get that slowed down. And then we can put the throttle down out of the first corner. We were kind of... Ooh, we were kind of relatively even, but I'd lost so much time early on. Maybe not corner cutting might not be the way to go. Some somehow I suspect that that is not the way to go through there. This game is bloody challenging. I will say that much. I say corner cut is not the way to go. We have actually made up some time on him. Oop! We're gonna fall off if we're not careful. Okay, maybe if we corner cut that. Ooh! <laughs> nope. Too much. <laughs> that is that. That is how you should appropriately punish corner cutting is with uh, falling over all flying cars. We've seen many in, in many Fail Race episodes people have been punished for corner cutting with flying slash rolling cars. And that I think should be in more games. Uh, th this one is just fall off a bike, that's just the trick really. That will discourage you from uh, going across the inside. Oop. Although apparently it doesn't discourage me from going across the inside there. I am not doing a good job of getting that under control in the braking zone there. I'm being way, way too aggressive. I kind of know though that I need to be aggressive in this first bit. This seems to be where I'm relatively fast. If we can get that turn there, get on that power. Yeah, I can be really quick here. And then I seem to have issues in this hairpin. I'm not so good out of here. I think I'm trying to get on the power a little too soon, maybe? Okay, we're closer. We're closer. We can sit in the slipstream all the way down this back straight. And the final corner I seem to have my issues with as well. All right, slow you down for there, maybe? Oh no, be patient, patient, patient with the bike. There we go. Now we can get on that throttle. <laughs> there is a lot of a lot of patience is required with these bikes. A lot more than cars is what I have what I have found so far with this. Oh, he's run a little bit wide. I spotted opportunity. Get on that throttle. Oh, we might go for our first proper overtake here. Ooh, it was. A, I, though I wanted to go for it. I'm really not quite sure. <laughs> really not quite sure on that one. As it do, there was a little bit of a nudge. Hello, don't mind me. I'm I'm just coming to find a way past because I want to win this bike. I want to add it to my collection because my first bike is not particularly exciting. Oh no! <laughs> I wanted to get on the power, but we were just going to end up in the side of him. Can we go for a big dive into the hairpin? No, he's really good under brake. Either he's really good or I'm just quite poor. It could well be that one, to be honest. Although we have got out of the hairpin nicely this time. He's a little bit on the grass. We've only got a little bit longer to go. We've got one more lap to try and find a way past. Oh, we're going to go to the inside, into the final corner. This could be a little bit scary. I don't really know. I don't trust the AI yet. I know what Gran Turismo's AI are like for being on train tracks, and I don't know whether these guys are going to be the same. There is some bumping. I will be honest here. There is some bumping going on. Oh, way too early on the brakes from me. Although he has tended to run very, very wide out of this first corner. We can go for... There we go. Get on the throttle. We are going <laughs> to take the lead. Yeah, he's he's much better on the brakes, but he I don't know if he goes on the throttle a little too soon. Oh, hello. That's a... Uh, okay, that was a big dive bomb from him, and I think I'm not going to be able to do this. We're going to really have to throw the bike up the inside somewhere. Where are we going to throw it? In fact, we've got, to, cause we've got to get past for 10 seconds or more, which means I've really got to throw it about now. Uh, come on. There we go. Get up. Get past him. That's the ticket. Now, we've got to hold this up until we get to the finish line. I don't really know how to defend in a bike. Uh, <laughs> my normal fill the inside of the corner works in a car, but it's quite difficult to do in a bike. Doesn't matter, though. Ooh. <laughs> we're going to get it. Was uh, uh, a bit longer. I probably should have done slightly better. Should have got that pass done a bit earlier. L slightly less frantic. But, doesn't matter. We've got the bike. Yeah, I like this as a... As a way of, of unlocking bikes, you know, having to complete a various challenge with each one. It's something a little bit different. Games these days, everything just has gone down the route of earn money to unlock cars. And it's quite fun going back to these older games and they had different ways. I love the way Enthusia does cars, you know, a random lottery of the vehicles you raced against and so on. I think that's fantastic fun. I like that this has got, you know, rather than just a currency system, it has gone for a complete challenges with each of them to unlock them. And, ooh! We can have a specific number. Yes, I like that as well. We will have 21. I think that is a racing bike. I think if the bike has that fancier stand at the back, I don't know what to call it. I'm sure there is a proper name for the for the bike stand. I think that means it's a racing bike. I mean, there's no headlights on this. It looks kind of like a concept bike as well. Um, it's quite cool you get to pick a number. Whereas the, the road bikes, if you like, will have a little sort of a stand when it's in the 
kind of scrape if we have have a you must must be a road bike uh no you are you might be a racing bike you what a what on earth are you in fact what the uh yamaha t max racing modified what the bloody hell oh so that's the that's the normal that's the road going t max that's a very odd it's sort of almost bulbous bike going on right there. I'm kind of curious about this. I'm very curious, in fact, about this. You know what? I was... <gasps> we have orange brakes! Yes! I like... Oh, we're going to Sakuba again? Pass your opponent within two laps. Um, okay. The game likes Sakuba. They're actually a really great selection of tracks on here. Of course, most of them carried over from Gran Turismo. I believe Nürburgring is uh, is here. Laguna Seca is here. Of course, but Sakuba is clearly here. Um... So yeah, there is a, an interesting selection of tracks. Right, how will this thing... I don't even know what we're going to expect from this thing. Okay, we don't quite have the handling of the previous bike. I say that, I've probably butchered that corner completely on my own. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not quite as responsive as the last bike. So the last bike was, what, half the... Half, I say half the weight. I think it might have actually been 100 kilos less. Was this 170? Where is he going? Now, if I did that, I would be in a lot of trouble game. You would be angry at me, or I'd probably be on my ass. let's be honest. Um, what can we do about getting affecting an overtake? We can... Ooh! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, maybe this does change the direction a little bit better than I was thinking. Yes, we shall go for a sneaky pass. We shall go for a sneaky pass, and then try and defend into this corner. Fill the inside. There we go. That's more of my sort of defending. Ooh, not getting all the power too soon, because we'll end up in the uh, weeds. Hey, that's a really weird racing bike. That's a really weird racing bike. I don't know what to, I don't know what the, the sort of the standard thing. It looks more like a moped than a bike, to, uh, than a full-blown bike, to be honest. Either way, we've got it. I don't know what I'm to do with it. Probably never going to use it again. But it's an interesting thing to have, uh, <laughs> to have got one. Yeah, so that was 100 kilos with about the same horsepower, more than our previous bike. Oh, we get to have a number on this one as well. Fantastic, I think. I'm assuming it will anyway. Alright, then we'll go do some of the actual events. I'm assuming the events will give you more opponents to race against. There we go, we've got... Uh, you, you see what I mean about very, very Gran Turismo-esque UIs going on around here. Uh, we shall, of course, have another 21. And that will be apply... There we go, okay, sort of around the, the rear area. I can't spin the camera around any faster. I'm assuming it'll be on the front as well. Right, let's go see what the racing holds. I'm going to guess... There's going to be a variety of events. I'd like to see sort of an autocross style. I, there was one, there was a slalom in the driving uh, driving license tests and so on. I'm hoping that there's going to be more than just sort of straight up racing. Not that there's anything wrong with straight up racing. Straight up racing is good fun. Um, aim for the ultimate in bike racing. Yeah, so we've got to work through these races. So we can see at these uh, novice novice events. If we go down here, we have rookie and then we have... Uh, lots of rookie events. I think I can only see up to rookie at the moment. Um, yeah, plenty of bloody stuff to be doing. So this is a beginner beginner event comprising of three races using normal road bikes below 250cc. Uh, we all know what we want to do is actually go and change our bike because I don't want the crappy thing that we started with. So if we go into... Oh, I've, I've just realised I've gone on one, two race bikes. They're probably not going to be street bikes, are they? Um... So we have got, uh, oh, I wonder if, uh, I wonder if these, because they are, they, they are, I guess that was a rookie class, maybe? Let's change onto, onto this thing. Uh, it is, it's a 125. So if we head back out of here and go into race events. Right, is it going to be eligible for... Okay, ah, so perhaps it's the type of bike then. The, these are just events for my current license tier, whereas R is the, the type of bike. I don't, I don't, I'm a little bit confused, I don't really know, but we're going to go over here. Um, oh, God, for, for 750... We've got a very, very little bike in this. We might get murdered. Uh, do we have, like, a little bike? A, li a little... Uh, no, no engine size limit doesn't sound happy for... Ah, there we go, 125s. Yes, we will go... Oh, that is for the bike that I have at the moment. Yeah, sure, we'll go... We will go racing with these 125s. Sakuba, uh, we have got... Wait, hold on. 
uh, race three, race two, okay. Sakuba, uh, Suzuka, and Twin Ring Motegi. Got all of these Japanese circuits that we don't see in racing games anymore. Uh, there hasn't, I don't know what's gone on with the, the licensing for, for Japanese circuits. I don't know if they're being uh, strict or just refusing to give out licenses because no modern racing game has had Japanese circuits in since, what, Forza 4? Uh, in Gran Turismo 6? I think they were the last ones to see Japanese circuits in. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, okay, so this is not quite the uh, sort of grid start that I was expecting from the uh, from the race. I guess I, I should have expected this, really, from Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is not a massive fan of having everyone line up on a grid. It likes to give you sort of a rolling start and make you do a lot of work in trying to work your way through the field. It kind of, it, it kind of makes for an exciting race. Oh, I don't know what on earth sort of slide that was. That was a little bit peculiar. Um, ooh, I meant to go look for assists and got completely distracted by a weird scooter racing thing. So, <laughs> yeah, it's that. Well, at least we're going to a circuit that I have just driven around twice, so I kind of roughly-ish, ish, know where I'm going. And of all the Japanese circuits, Sakuba is definitely the one that I am best at. Uh, not a massive fan of uh, Twin Ring. Suzuka I'm okay at, but has never been a massively strong circuit of mine. Yeah, Sakuba is, is good fun. I used to run it a lot in Versus Communities on, on Forza 4 way back. When when we had Sakuba, I would run it a lot probably on Forza 6 if we had it. As uh, Yeah, it's a great fun, great fun circuit to race. Uh, Forza 4 notorious for rolling cars as uh, <laughs> one particular curb is a horribly, horribly nasty corner that uh, many cars, me included, have uh, have gone out on. Rolled a car on this first corner as well, very difficult to do. It was an Escort that, uh, that, went, that went over completely out of the blue and never managed to replicate it, but uh, yeah, I like this track, I like this track, it's good fun. Uh, we've got four and a half seconds-ish to go to catch the leader. Uh, come on, get turned around there. I am, you will notice, manually having to do the kind of ducking e Oop, ducking down behind the... Is it cowling? Around the... F uh, that might not be the right word for it. Kind of the, the wind the windscreen bit, uh, trying to minimise the drag going on on the bike. You will notice, at least from what I can see... Oop. Uh, around there we go. We're going to get another place at the hairpin. Uh, you can see on the little diagram in the lower left-hand side, there is a arrow at the front of the bike that kind of is changing colour. Now I think that is to do with the wind resistance that is going on. You see, if I sit, if I, I let off the um, let off the crouch button essentially through here, it's flashing at me, and I think that means that your rider is causing excess excess air resistance. So yeah, that's something to keep an eye out. Four, I've messed up, having got off that hairpin really badly, I have lost a place, although that was really good around turn one. I'm liking that uh, tight exit out of turn one. I'm not sure if it's the right way to do things, but it is doing the job. Ooh, that's not doing the job there. That was very, that was a little bit floaty. Ooh, I'm still going to keep the position though. A little bit floaty and a little bit wriggly, but... We have got our way up into second place. I don't know if we need to win all of these races to progress, or quite what we need to do here. Leader is perhaps a little too far away from me. If we could do something about catching him pronto, really, that would be helpful. Uh, have we got on that power too soon? No. <laughs> I like this bike. This bike is really, really cool. Uh, it's a decent... I'm glad I've got something like this to sort of help me learn the game. It makes life a little bit easier when you have a nice handling bike on a game and with vehicles that you don't really know very much about. This is a, a good fun thing to, to ride. We're going to run a bit wide. You can normally get away with a wheel on the dirt out of that final corner at Sakuba. Although that is normally with a car, with a bike. Yeah, things are a little bit different. I feel like I could probably s spin these, have an accident really easy, try to do that. Just try to get on that power as soon as possible with wheels across the dirt and things would probably go very badly wrong. This corner here, we're having all manner of squiggly moments under braking. I don't even know what to call it. I think it's think it's locking the rear brake slightly that is causing that. Um, now there is a way, I believe, once we get around these corners, um, you can just brake with the front. Uh, I'm not sure what button it is though. I think I saw there was uh, a way. I'm using at the moment square is both or for both brakes, I think. Uh, R2 is going to be for... Oh, I should probably hold that thing down so that we stay crouched. Well, they didn't seem to pop back up again, which is... Sometimes he doesn't seem to come back up again. Other times he sort of automatically goes into crouch when I forget to hold the trigger. 
But there we go. Um, we are catching really slowly. Oh, we've actually lost a bit of time for the uh, end of that lap, which is annoying. We, we've got the speed ooh, to be competitive at the front if I could have got there faster. We've not, we're we're going to run out of time. So I'm hoping that we can make progress through this championship with a second in the opening round, because we're not going to do any better than this here. At least it is a second. At least I haven't fallen off. That's always There's always a plus point when, <laughs> when it comes to a bike race. If I haven't fallen off, then I know I'm doing relatively okay. We've had a really good middle sector through there. I'll say that. We're going to end up out wide on the grass. And that was so nice. Yeah, we've made up a second in that middle sector. If only I could have done that the whole bloody time, that would have been great. Uh, we were patient enough, we got the bike changed direction, or the weight transferred is perhaps the best way to, to put it, I think would be correct, uh, before we came to the corners nicely. And that is a real, it's a really weird, I say it's a weird thing to learn, it's a weird thing for someone who, like me, who has raced cars for many, many years in many games, and you know, always, always been a, a car person, to now come to a bike game, and that's that's the thing that takes such a such a long time to learn. Well, we had an absolutely flying final lap after an awful first sector. So I'm pleased, I'm pleased with that. Okay, so this is a, like a proper, a proper championship, championship going on. So we can progress with, with that second place. Unfortunately, we've just about learnt Sakuba and where we need to be changing. Oh, 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 um, um, <laughs> who gave the replay camera some LSD there? That was really peculiar. Uh, how do we get out of this? Do we? Ah, we have to press start. I remember how to work things in Gran Turismo-esque games. Yeah, that one there wasn't great. Uh, retire. No, we want to go for the next race. Okay, Suzuka is up next. I'm hoping it's going to be one of the smaller layouts of Suzuka. Whichever layout doesn't have Spoon Corner in, I'd be happy with because I'm terrible there. Always, always have been awful at Spoon Corner when it's. Um, when it comes, it's just about any guy. Oh, it is. It, 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 uh, oh, this is the short layout around the bits that I don't like. Yeah. No, if it could have been the other short layout, I would have been cool with that. But uh, this 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 layout. Ooh. Uh, okay, turning a bit too soon there. We're gonna fall off. We're gonna fall off. Uh, no, we're fine. We're fine. I can I can bike okay. I can't bike okay. I can't bike okay. We're going exploring again. Go exploring again. I don't quite know what's going on with physics there. We're going to fall over. <laughs> oh, we, uh, we, we've magically been reset relatively quickly. Can we go? Oh, we can't go for a restart. Bugger. I think I might have done a slightly dumb thing in picking a championship that was a little bit further through. Just so I had an excuse to try out this bike in, in, in full-on racing situation. Because it's now quite... The races are surprisingly long and AI a, a little bit, little bit more difficult. And I... I've learned one track in this game so far, and we're now not there. <laughs> I really could have done with the points in that opening round, or I could have done with you guys. You guys mixing it up with the leader, because then then that might give me a chance. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, oh these bloody bike layouts. God damn it. <laughs> Just when you think you know a circuit, and then we get a random chicane. I guess I should have checked the mini-map, but... Um, Random chicane in a corner that doesn't normally have a random chicane. I think the Formula One car should deal with them, honestly. I think that'd make it much more interesting. How the Formula One cars deal with random tight chicane around the circuit. Make things uh, uh, difficult, difficult uh, or easier to overtake. I'm not sure, actually. Into that into that chicane, you might be able to get passes done a little bit better at uh, Suzuka if we have random chicanes around the place. I think despite me tumbling off at the start of the race, we're not doing too bad. Are we buzzing? We're very noisily buzzing a limit of the woo good god the bleh. that uh, i'm not sure if that's me or physics going all a little bit floaty across there that is quite frankly terrifying through i can never remember is it 130 r 180 r I, I know it's something r but i can't remember the numbers before it either way it is a corner that is apparently utterly utterly terrifying on a bike when you don't really know what you are uh, doing properly ai's are running very very wide in places Ooh. Ooh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Honestly, there is no need to be alarmed about anything that is happening on my motorbike at any point in this video. It's all horribly, horribly under control. Yes, not horribly wrong. It's all, it's all horribly under control. There we go. <laughs> I'm liking getting these slightly tighter exits. The AIs do seem to be... Um, they carry really good speed on the way in, but they do not seem to be 
uh, getting the greatest of exits. Uh oh, we've chucked the bike down. Quick, go, go. We're going to probably not not win this one now. I was trying to be a little bit too fast. God damn it! No. <laughs> oh, you see, I've got, I've gone I've gone past that that stage, that the beginner stage where things are going like relatively okay. You're learning what to do with the bike, and you don't make any really massive errors. I've gone past that stage, so I'm now got a small bit of knowledge but that's dangerous because then you try and do silly stuff you try and be too brave try to carry too much speed and that's when you make bigger mistakes that's where you make bigger accidents and when you throw the bike around like a moron damn it all of my hard hard work all of the glorious hard work that have gone into trying to chase down these uh, these leaders right let's go for we didn't fall off the road this time amazing amazing but i don't really know where to break here from a normal point just about there. Yeah, that worked out actually quite nicely. Oop. That's really, <laughs> it's really slightly peculiar sliding physics when you do that. I don't quite, I don't quite know what's going on there. And it's, it's a little bit odd. Up until that moment, everything is really good in terms of physics. But um, yeah, when things start getting, when you start losing control of the bike, or you're doing something that the bike should, or you don't expect, the game doesn't expect the bike to be doing, it kind of has a panic as to where on earth the bike should be going. Oh, hello. Yeah, that is Gran Turismo AI for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're very much to a T. That is Gran Turismo AI. Just, yeah, they're, they're, they're taking their path regardless of whether you have a vehicle in their way or not. Hey, don't be a moron here. That's better. Don't play on the grass slash sand. It's all bad. Amazingly, the leader hasn't really run away that far. If I had known this track better and not cocked everything up immediately, I think I actually stand a better chance of winning this one than I did at Sakuba, oddly. There we go. Uh, oop, get turned. Patience, 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 patience. There's some sand out there to play with. No, we're fine. <laughs> we, play, we played with it a little bit, but we didn't quite go building sandcastles. So, uh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay with not building sandcastles. Right, we have got two seconds to try and make up on the leader here. We're 130 miles an hour down into this corner. It's not quite flat out, I don't think, through there. Oh, that curb was nasty. That curb was really nasty. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Uh, no, 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 no! Ah. Oh. Well, I mean, we might have had a chance to catch the leader had we not done that. I think I carried even more speed through that uh, one, whatever, R corner. <laughs> however, whatever, however high a number that R corner is. I think I carried even more speed through there this time around and was trying to be braver under brakes and that's never going to end well. Um, ooh, there we go. <sighs> I should probably check, see if there's some sort of... Uh, I will remember eventually to check, see if there is some sort of assists, if that's why it's acting a little bit weirdly when things are getting a bit, um, a bit odd. It could be some sort of stability thing that is, like, trying to stop the bike from falling over when you do that. I guess that would also make sense for, for the weirdness. Uh, alright, turn down through there. There we go, and then out the other side quickly. Yeah, despite the fact that I've had a tumble off my bike, we are closer than ever to the leader, I think, this time around, which does fill me with confidence if we can not fall off on the final lap. Oh, no, we're oh, not going to do that. Oy, what went on there? I don't really know. We've somehow stayed on the bike, though. Ah. <laughs> now, that might have cost us a chance. I keep thinking it's cost us a chance of victory, and then I keep looking where the leader is, and he's obviously not riding massively quicker, although I think he is further. Okay, so it's about, again, we haven't really lost time in all of that, amazingly. We might still have a bit too much work to do, I think. Uh, oh, I don't like that first corner. That is literally a hold your breath every time around there, and hope that we get stopped. Oh, no. we got a big high side going on there. Somehow, it, the... <laughs> I think I might have cheated ever so slightly. Basically, you crash. That might be... A <laughs> I wonder if you just go flat out into that turn one wall. You'll crash, you'll fall off, you'll get reset. But you get reset so quickly that you're actually closer than I was if I had made the corner. Because it kind of reset me pointing in the right direction and braked and... Yeah. That's a little bit cheaty. If we do win this, which I doubt, I'm doubting, but if we do, that's very cheaty. Right, so we are all squiggly under braking. That, I think, was me not being lined up straight enough to slow down for that first corner. And then as I started fighting it, everything went even more, even more wrong than it uh, already was going. So, we've got to be careful of that for future reference. Not going to be much good in this race, because we've only got a couple more braking zones to go. I don't think I'm going to be close enough. Unless he has a... I don't think AI on Gran Turismo games really have moments. Unless I can find mega speed. If we can suddenly find 
awesome, awesome speed around the corners that I'm generally terrible at. Oh, no, 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 bugger. You can't do it. Oh, I'm going to have to settle for another second place. Disappointing from me. We got a good run out of that corner. Um, maybe if I'd been smarter. Yeah, we made up two seconds just by falling off the bike. If I'd been smarter around that final corner, it could have been useful. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> what are our AI's doing? It is the bike centipede going on at the moment. Oh, now they're not anymore. Well, we need blue to somehow not win. So we're going to crash blue off in the next race, I think. No, I didn't say that. I wouldn't do such a thing at all. No. Um, inadvertently, quite possibly. Uh, not, not intentionally. Um, I'm going to go with that excuse. Oh, well, we've got to press start, haven't we? Get through the LSD. Replay cameras. And then we will have one, one more race to go with this. I'm liking this game, though. I'm really liking this game. Thank you, people, for telling me about it. I'd never heard of it. Quite, kind of quite surprised that I've never heard of it, considering... Um, I have to decide the order of the starting. Oh, can we actually... Oh. That could make things a bit easier. That's actually quite neat that they have an option to run qualifying. There are four. There are four. Okay, that's, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of details of this game. Yes, um, I'm quite surprised. I've never heard of this game. You know, being made by. The, oh bloody hell! We got this is a massively long race. I was expecting it to go around one of the shorter layouts of Twin Ring. Well, we're going to be here for a <laughs> for a while. Um, yeah, I was I was yeah surprised to have never never heard of this game. But thank you for for telling me about it. This is a really very very cool motorbike racing game. There is a lot of detail. There's a lot more detail than I've really got into uh, in this video as well. You can customise all of your gear apparently. You can customise your riding style as well. I don't quite know what difference that will make but I'm assuming that uh, that will be yeah kind of a, a relative a relatively substantial thing. Ten bloody seconds. I should have done qualifying and uh, got myself up to the front. But then if I start on pole I'm up would hope at least that I could run away and then it would just be a boring time trial so at least by doing it like this you kind of have something to to aim for we need to ooh, need to lift off there otherwise we're going to have a really big accident we need to be catching about two seconds a lap then in theory if we are going to be able to take a victory here which at the moment I'm not sure I am doing oh I don't like twin ring I really don't like twin ring <laughs> like Suzuka yeah I'm not going to be winning this Suzuka is not my favourite circuit, but I much prefer Suzuka to Twin Ring. Well, that's a little bit cheating, and I don't think I actually <laughs> say it's a bit cheating. I kind of used the inside kerb to propel me around the corner, but uh, while it got me a little bit more corner speed than I might have initially been thinking I'd take, I'm pretty sure I've been horribly wonky on the exit. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. This is probably going to be quite a long, lonely, uh, boring race for me until I can... Uh, I guess we made a, a, fr <laughs> a fraction up there. Um... Yeah, this is a really, really cool game. This is a really cool game. Again, it's one that I highly recommend if you have a, an old PS2 lying around to uh, to find and, and check out. Many hours, I imagine, can and probably will be wasted by me um, messing around with some bikes, trying to learn to ride them, trying to get better with the uh, with the motorbikes. I don't know where on earth I'm going over there. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is probably one of the games as well that... Um, I may, I may end up streaming this at some point. I'm quite enjoying, when I get internet back of course, uh, I'm quite enjoying streaming random old games. It's quite entertaining to, to play through these. Uh, and yeah, generally generally faff around and, and see what they have to offer a little bit more. Because there is often so much depth for some of these that uh, you can't really cover it in, in, in one, sometimes even two videos. So yeah, I think I'll probably end up streaming more, more random old, old games. I've got so many of them lying around at the moment, it's fantastic. To, uh, to play through. Oh, across that curve. Yeah, Twin Ring is, is not my circuit. We're not going to have a fun time around here. Um, and I don't really want to waste 10 minutes of your time with me fumbling around that circuit, so we are going to uh, we are going to exit that one. Yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Did not that exit? I said exit. I, oh, I, I thought it meant continue as in continue with exit. Uh, <laughs> my stupid, I guess, on that one. Yeah, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.